Sajay, welcome to your four lovers only love reading for the month of November 2022. All right, now love, we're going to set this off with the oracle messages. We have the lovers oracle for you today. Now my darling, I can see you dealing with a lover or you were dealing with a lover that you were very close to. I see there was a lot of passion between you two and a lot of love with all the hearts and whatnot around. And what it says is that when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. For every choice you make expands your overstanding of life and love, my darling. So I'm feeling like you were dealing with a lover that maybe you had to go ahead and take a break from. It doesn't necessarily have to be a breakup or it could be a breakup, Sag. But they are making you feel as if you are wrong for the things that you have done in the relationship that probably contribute to the breakup. Now, it looks like somebody is really thinking about you. They're in deep thought and deep contemplation, love. And it says, imagine all un wanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Okay, so I'm, think I'm thinking that this person or you have some type of unwanted thoughts in regards to what happened to separate you two, okay? But it says, imagine those thoughts dissolving into light. Okay, I see the star here. I see somebody focusing on something else, okay? It says, look deep within your heart. And you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. So I'm thinking that somebody didn't express their love. They just want the other person to look inside of their heart and feel the love. It's like they didn't think that they had to express anything, but they had to express that love to you, Sag. And it doesn't look like they did. So maybe you walked away from them or took a break from them. Now here's the love oracle cards, baby. I see healthy choices. Okay, now it reads that um, you're making healthy choices in life and love, that you're dealing with self-love and self-care and focusing on being happier. Okay, because it's like maybe you was in a relationship with somebody who didn't make you happy because they didn't like express themselves. They didn't tell you how much they love you. Okay, now we got abandonment. Yeah, somebody abandoned the other person. Fear of abandonment issues are affecting the relationship. So we got ghosting because somebody feared abandonment issues. So they, they latched onto the other person too tightly. It says forgive, especially yourself, Sag. Okay, forgive yourself for allowing yourself to be in this type of situation. Okay, or forgive yourself for have to, having to abandon this individual. I see sunglasses here. Said. It says that this person has been watching you. Uh, they've been stalking you, okay? It's like they, they're focusing out. They can't focus on much else but you, baby, okay? And let's go ahead and get into the Menara Erotic Oracle. I see we have the uh, loving and trusting yourself. See, that's what's going on here, Sag. It's like you are loving and trusting yourself or you loved and trust yourself enough to go ahead and make a healthy choice and, you know, go ahead and take a break from this individual. This person is still haunting you, especially when you get booty butt naked. You can feel them touching all over your body. It's like they're having all types of sex with you whenever you get booty butt naked even though you have the purity of freedom okay so it's like you know baby you can go ahead out to the pool or whatever it is that you're doing but you can still feel this individual around you we got the flow of inspiration you see that such this is how closely they are around you in the uh the energy okay they are closely to you like this these are two females so it could be the same sex or it could be um you're dealing with a male with feminine energy but this person is always close up on you 
energetically. And it's like you just want to have some type of space in between y'all right now. Now I see with the tarot here, we got the Ten of Swords, baby. We got the Ten of Pentacles and we got the Three of Cups. Now with the Ten of Swords, I can see that this individual just was having too much sex with you, Sag. It's like, wait a second now. You always on top, always wanting you to ride the wand, always wanting to be squeezing all over your nipples. And it's like, they took for Ever. It's like this person you was dealing with this Aquarius Libra Gemini act like they didn't know how to ejaculate, okay? They didn't know how to climax. So it's like ten of swords, baby. They expected you to just stay up in the kitty and the booty, baby. Look, ten of pentacles. Put forth the major effort. You couldn't even uh sleep. You couldn't get anything to eat. This person at the table, y'all both booty butt naked. This person at the table watching you eat. So that whenever y'all got finished, it's like three of cups. Now, they bad. Three of cups is telling me that there may have been a third party that came in between you two. Could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, um, Sag. But it's like, you know, this person may have had a third party that they went to have sex with too because they have such a sex addiction it looks like baby now we got the eight of wands we got the high priestess and we got the eight of pentacles love this person communicated a lot with the kitty and the wand, didn't they? I mean, this person always had your legs open, eating the kitty. You was like squirming, like, you know, you just wanted them off of you. Like, my goodness, man. This person was like, you know, you had an orgasm. This person wanted you to have an orgasm after orgasm after orgasm. This Leo Aries Sagittarius. I see you were here, Sag. With the uh, high priestess, booty butt naked, looking at this person like, man, I need some space. You had your negative and your positive self talking to you. And it was telling you different ways of how the heck to get away from this individual. Because they kept you with your clothes off, baby. Eight of pentacles, cemented in the bedroom. You definitely was dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This high priestess was a Pisces, but it's like, bang, bang. Mm, mm, mm. It wasn't just like they were eating the kitty. I said, they have you on your side, balls deep up in the, the booty and the kitty, baby. But this person was also trying to suck your nipples off too, Sag. Four of Pentacles. I mean, they were holding on to you pretty, pretty damn tight. Pretty tight, and they're telling you that you're wrong for requiring space. Six of Wands. You see, this is the house that you're in. This person keep walking up to your house. I'm thinking that they walk up to your house and they, they get ready to knock on your door, but they never knock on your door because they have some negative energy with this devil. Okay, you're dealing with the Capricorn. Capricorn, like I will mention three times at least. This is the fourth time Capricorn was mentioned. So sad, just like this person be trying to, you know, come to your house, but it being some negative energy. This lover right here. It's like they be trying to sneak up from the back and just be all up in the booty, baby. And you're like, my goodness, you just need some space, baby. Just need some space to just, you know, ain't nothing wrong with having some time to yourself. But this individual right here don't want to give it to you. Although they have no choice because they're walking up to your house with the Six of Wands trying to be all, you know, victoriously back up in the kitty again. But it's like, love, I don't feel that you allow this person in. They may not even knock on your door sometimes. Maybe a lot of times they walk up to your door and just don't knock on it because they're trying to give you the space and they know that if they get into the house with you, it's closed off, baby. It's curtains. They all over the nipples, all up in that kitty, all over that lawn, deep all up in the booty. Woo, Sagittarius. Now, my darling, if this reading is resonating with you, then don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages, okay? And if this reading is not resonating with you, then um, don't worry about it, Sag. I'm just going to get you next time. If you need a personal reading, <clears throat> the way to contact me is in the description box below, okay? Now we got this person. 
They're in a state of fear from a toxic place or a person they chose over you. Okay? So you probably just went ahead and let this person go, Sag. Let this person go to whoever they wanted this other third party who they were having sex with or who they wanted to have sex with and they were trying to juggle you and them at the same time, baby. Now listen, something died inside them the day they lost you, okay? But something died inside of them when they lost you, though. I'm thinking this other party person was probably only just for sex, Sag. Now they resent you for letting them go, baby. Okay, they resent you for that. They think that you were supposed to just stay with them and give them the comfort of your body, the comfort of your sex, the comfort of the food that you were cooking. Because I'm seeing them at the table, booty butt naked, waiting for you to finish cooking. Okay? Mm. All right, baby. Look. Baby, I need to feel every part of you. Please come to bed. And that was the routine. This person constantly needed to feel every part of you. Sad, just like, oh my goodness, like, I can't do anything. Like, I want to be with you so bad. It's like, oh my goodness, Sag. Mmm, it's too much, baby. So you belong to me or you belong to nobody. Ooh. Okay, baby. Mm, mm, mm. It's like this person had a real sex addiction. It was real in real life happening with this individual, okay? Now they resent you for letting them go because they don't have your body right now. They're just watching you and stalking you like, give me the booty or I'm going to take it. Okay, so they're about to take the booty. And I'm thinking, they be taking the booty energetically, though. Spiritually, it's like this person, whenever you lay down and go to sleep, they be deep up in the booty spiritually. Now listen, do you want them or me? Mm. I don't know who this them is. So I just like maybe they're accusing you of having somebody else, but really you're just trying to take time for yourself here. This person talking about, how could you play with someone's heart like that, like you loved me. My goodness, now this person is accusing you of not loving them because you needed some space, baby. Now they're stalking you. If they, they, they stalking you, that they, they can see that you don't have anybody else, Sag. So I don't know why they're asking you this question. Maybe they think you are secretly talking to somebody that they don't know about, even though they're stalking you. And if they're stalking you, they would know that, right? Mm. That's just that's just absurd. Meanwhile, they had a daggone third party that they were having sex with. Now, the third party could be them thinking that you were having sex with somebody else. Sag, that could be it. Some Leo, I mean, some uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Okay. Maybe that's why they think you're not having sex with them because you're having sex with somebody else. So they're watching to see when they're going to see that person with you, Sag. Mm. Okay, well, my darling. Meanwhile, they're going to, you know, stalk you in the ether. Have sex with you whenever you lay down. You feel their energy strongly. <sighs> okay, my darling. Well, let me go ahead and end it here. I'd like to thank you for your time, Sagittarius. And... I hope you enjoyed your video. Until next time, deuces.